Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today. I want to talk about something very important. And that is why giving the narcissist an inch is dangerous for you. For your life. And for society. You see narcissists try to mask the bad things they do as misunderstandings. And a simple mistake. And the reason why they do this is to keep you playing their game. Because the longer they can keep you playing their game. The deeper they can pull you into the game. And the deeper you are in the game the more difficult it will be to escape once you realize what is going on. Have you seen those movies? Where someone goes into a room or into a house. Where the vibe is completely off. One person says. Very quickly. Hey. I forgot something in the car. Glasses. Wallet. Breath mints. You pick. And they said that very quickly and early on so they could get out of harm's way and leave and never come back. However, the two other people stayed. And it turned into a horror film. You see. We witness in society over and over these odd happenings from the top to the bottom. And what they. They meaning the narcissists of society would like to do is to keep people playing this game of the narcissist as long as they can. Because with each inch. And with every fake and hollow apology. We get real deeper and deeper into their web. Which is exactly what they want. Not everyone has your heart. Yes. We are all sinners. All of us. But our sin hurts us and it hurts God. Narcissists aren't bothered by their sin. Actually they see it as a superpower. The ability to lie without a bad feeling and to lead people in the wrong direction is seen as a strength as opposed to something you should repent for. And this is the world the narcissist strives for. And it goes back to that old simple thing we've heard about even when we were younger. But we didn't at the time fully understand its meaning. And that is. If they can't have it. They don't want others to have it. And that can be with anything. A good example of this is. If you grew up in a poor neighborhood. And you got a new pair of shoes for your birthday. Sure they were on sale. But they were new. Just because they were new. Other kids at school or in your neighborhood would purposely step on your shoe or bump into you causing your shoes to get scuffed. Why? I mean the shoes were on sale and didn't cost that much. They weren't the top of the line shoe. Well the simple fact was is they were new and you have them. And they don't. It's that simple. The Bible talks about envy and how dangerous this is no matter if a person is a narcissist or not. The example I've talked about regarding you ladies on my channel. If you so happen to find a decent kind and loving man in your life. He treats you well. And things are good. You might have a so-called girlfriend of yours or a new girlfriend you just met at work. Pretend to want to be your friend and in doing so they will gain your trust. When in reality the only goal they have is to ruin what you have in life. And that is a happy relationship. They might take you out to do random fun and innocent stuff at first. Such as getting a coffee. Having lunch. Or going to see a movie. But you will notice something. They might start to talk a bit more about you and your relationship. Such as. Wow. That is the only man you've been with. Are you serious? And you haven't thought about what it's like to be with another man? This is how the narcissist plants the seed early on. This is much like how a narcissist parent will tell the store clerk at the store your family likes to shop at. That they love their son or daughter so much. 
it's just so stressful when they yell and scream at all hours of the night. That they understand they are going through a lot and they just want the best for their son or daughter. Now this son or daughter isn't doing any of these things. But what this does is it plants the seed in the mind of these people about you if you are the son or daughter of this narcissist parent. And now when you go into the store. How you will be treated going forward will be extremely strange and off. You might sense something is wrong. And go back to your narcissist mother or father. And they will play dumb and accuse you of imagining things. Well. This so-called narcissist friend is planting the same kind of seed in the mind. Of many of their lady friend's minds. With the hopes it will linger there enough to influence their thinking when they bring them along the next phase of this narcissistic brainwashing. Because again. Narcissists are in the business of brainwashing. That is what they do. Make no mistake about it. Brainwashing is their bread and butter to what they do and how they do it. So now this so-called friend has gained your trust. They might have actually done something extremely big for you in the way of helping you out some way or another. At work or in your personal life. So now you feel obligated to trust them. And then they want to take you to a bar or a dance club. A place in my humble cartoon opinion no man or woman in a serious relationship should be unless they are in that same place together. And even then. It still might not be the best of places to go. But with mixed emotions she goes. And just like this toxic friend hoped. A man comes by to talk to her. Now I think you can see what is happening here. And what we just talked about is commonplace in today's society. Giving the narcissist an inch in your life or in society allows wedges to not only be put between people that really love one another. But wedges between you and God. Have you noticed when you are narcissist free? And you have gotten some good space and quiet time that you can hear God speak in your soul and spirit. But when you are with the narcissist they are constantly dropping brainwashing seeds in your mind. So that's all you hear. And then you start acting on such things. This goes back to the brainwashing I was talking about. Again there was a man that many are familiar with that did some horrible horrible things many years ago. But it's a fact that he was experimented on at college in a human test study. On how a human mind could be broken. And I'm pretty sure there were many many other. Tests before this guy and possibly some after. So what do you think happens with these groups when they are dismantled? They still have the information on what works and what doesn't. Just because these groups are supposedly not doing such tests anymore. Certain people can still plant seeds here and there throughout society. In order to steer you into a way where you literally ruin your life. And just like the video I made recently talking about what does God want you to do. Those narcissists that make society tick know this about you and those like you. And that's why the brainwashing exists. So you don't produce wonderful fruit in life. Though your talents from God were to produce wonderful life fruit. The narcissists of society want your life to be a flop. A mess. A disappointment. This is why I say please be good to yourself. I know many of you are trying so hard in life. But you've been treading water your entire life. Which was another thing I wanted to talk about. Maybe in the next video. But you have been through a lot. You really have. Now does that mean give up? No. Stand right back up and keep right on going. But be kind loving and good to yourself regarding your missteps and errors in life. Because they will happen. But when you see someone that isn't right for you. Get out and get away. And don't be ashamed. Because the longer you stay. The more of a chance you have at falling for their lies. I think this is a good place to stop. I would like to know your thoughts. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.